everybody welcome back to my youtube channel my name is Chris Kamlanda aka Miss Vala this is a show where we entertain educate and motivate if this is your first time on my youtube channel don't forget to subscribe ring the bell so that every time I get to post the video you are always notified so in today's video guys I'm gonna be sharing my life experience living in Russia don't think as if Russia is that safe rather don't think as if uh africa or europe is that safe they are both not safe <laughs> yeah i know i haven't been posting lately but i'm sorry i've been going through a lot and i'm going to tell you or rather give you a life update about that so but in today's story it's another thing guys it's another thing i don't want to cry i don't want to be too emotional let's just get into the video So, yeah, I know right now my mom and my dad, you guys are watching my video. I never told you about it, but I opened up to great man because I needed to heal though. Yeah, so I'm um, my first year student at Redan University studying economics in Russia. Yeah, and it was on a Saturday, guys. It was on a Saturday when me and my friends started off uh, before i talk about that guys i do hair i played hair during my free time even this hair i did it by myself so if you like it please comment down so that i can make a video on how i did my hair by myself so it was on a saturday me and my friend were about to go and do hair so i called her we're learning at the same university now a preparatory faculty how they do it here in russia when you come you first have to learn the language, the Russian language, then that's when you can go into your first year. So, um, I called her, uh, my friend never picked up, I bet she was busy. I called her several times, she never picked up. So I started off from my school, uh, my university guys, yeah, around 13. So like what I was going to do here, it's like very far guys, and it took me an hour using a metro. Uh, one hour 30 minutes so I reached late yeah I reached late I reached around 15 if I'm not mistaken so I was supposed to do the woman's hair and the daughter's hair so I started doing because um, the woman only wanted corners and you know corners they don't take time so I did the corners and started doing the girls hair so I said let doing the girls hair so it was around 22 now uh, I was supposed to go home I set it off from that place, reached the station, waited for an hour, no bus. So I decided to book a taxi, you know, because I knew that the metro station, they close around 01. I'm not sure what time they close, but I think my brother told me they close around 01. So uh, I booked a taxi. Uh, not using my phone guys i use the african mentality because back in my country we just book a taxi by talking to a person like you know i'm going to this particular place so how much you know so but here in europe it's kind of like different you have to use your phone to book a taxi and my phone was on one percent so that's the reason why i couldn't use my phone to book a taxi so i saw a yandex taxi like parked by the roadside so i went to the man and i told him i'm going to uh to this university can you kindly take me there and he told me the amount of money that i told him i only have this much the man agreed guys so i was so excited you know then i mean sat in front we started talking then he told me that i was good at the russian language then i told him oh i i've been in russia only for six months and i don't know how to speak good russian so then he said no 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 you know how to speak good russian then after that um we continued chatting then i was so surprised guys because i was coming to my university like you know 
Then I was surprised, like I'm just saying welcome to Tula. So I asked him, how come it's written welcome to Tula? Then he said, no, we've used another word. Okay, so we met some women by the roadside. I don't know if they were first youth guys, but I don't know. I'm not sure. We met some women. And he told me that the women couldn't embark on a taxi because of me. So I just laughed. I never took it serious. Then the man parked the car. Um uh by the bridge side guys i don't know how they are called like the towers the first one the second one and the third one it's like a bridge and a tower then down there was a river i don't know that river so he parked and only cars can pass there uh only cars can park uh pass there so he parked then he told me that i should have sex with him so i got confused i was like what are you talking about you know and I started speaking in English because I wasn't good at Russian language. You know, it's so hard. So I said, what What do you want? Then he said, ah, can you just kindly have sex with me? I refused, guy, guys, I refused. And the man, like how it was, if I, if I was to open the door, I would have jumped into the river. And if I was to open the other door, like where he was seated by, the cars would have bashed me. And there were no people, only cars. So now the man started now trying to force himself on me, guys. It was really bad. It's really bad being raped. And I thank God that I wasn't raped. But I had a very, very bad experience. So he started now trying to force himself on me, you know. Uh, luckily, I was wearing a high worsted jean. And you know, like me, I love belts. So I was wearing a high worsted jean and the belt was so tight he couldn't open the belt but he tried to kiss my neck everything i was crying and i said god if this man is going to wreck me i'm going to kill myself and jump it was so so bad the only thing that was in my mind was if he's going to wreck me i'm going to jump into this river and nobody would have known where i was because i never called my brother where i went because i thought it was safe you know so now I was just crying guys it's like 30 minutes he's traveling then i remember that my phone quite right my phone was uh off yeah quite right my phone was on one percent i had airtime to call the person i called my friend grace if you're watching this i called you i think twice she never picked up i also called my friend for Ekaterian Bay, he never picked up. Then I called my last friend for Riden. He's the one who picked up and I was crying. So I told him what was going on. You know, like the man he's trying to force himself on me and the phone was on my um my laps. So now I pressed it because my hands were down. Then him was trying. So I just put it on loud and I was crying because the man couldn't understand English. He was only understanding Russian. So I called my friend and I told him, the man is trying to rape me, this and that, I was crying. So he decided talking, then the man heard the voice of my friend, because he's also a guy. So now, um, he was afraid, then he sat down. Then uh, my friend is very good at the Russian language, so he talked to him. Yeah, he talked to him after that, he said, we are going to trace your car. Cause she already knows your number plate in Russian so take the girl home you know? I was crying I was shocked and I was praying in my heart I'm like God I know things seems to be impossible but it is possible unto you I kept praying and you know like when you are crying you are, I'm an emotional person you know so I couldn't even talk my voice went on this <laughs> you know then after that the man told me stop crying I, I don't know if he felt pity or what he said stop crying i'll take you home stop crying so i continued communicating with my friend he asked me where i read and luckily my phone never went off guys it never went off i continued communicating with my friend until i reached the place i felt so disgusted and i think i reached home around zero to well, while i was supposed to reach home around 24. I felt so disgusted. I went in the bathroom and bath and cried, and it was so bad, like so so bad. And I think I was just like in my room. I couldn't talk to people, like really open up. 
it also took me time to open up to my older brother because I needed time to heal. So I know my mom and my father are watching this. I just needed time to heal. So I, I learned something. Be self and don't book a taxi just talking. You know, this is zero. Me, I used my mentality for, you know, back in my country, telling the person I'm going to this particular place. So let me just book a taxi by talking to him. Make sure you book your taxi, your Yandex taxi using your phone because you'll be able to trace him, you know. If it wasn't for my friend, that man would have raped me. And I think God was the one who even told me to call, you know, to call somebody. Uh, it was really a very bad experience, guys. So I know people who've experienced that, they, they can talk about it. Because if you haven't experienced it, you can only feel pity for somebody. But those are the things that torment People. I'm just going to show you a clip of a video yeah, uh, that I did after that incident happened, you know. I think it was three weeks after that incident happened, then I made the video. I was like talking to myself because I love taking videos. I was like talking to myself and telling myself, oh, I don't know why guys I'm so sad. I don't know nowadays I can't smile. Then I remembered, okay, this is what actually happened to me. Guys, I don't know what's going on with me, but I feel like I'm about to lose my mind though. I don't know, my facial expressions are kind of like sad, but like from the inside guys, I'm not like really sad, but I'm surprised. I actually don't know, but I'm surprised. I'm kind of like surprised why this is happening. I don't know if I'm sad because of something happened but I can't just figure it out in front of him and I can't just find a solution so what makes a person look sad while wow, they inside like from the inside I just want an answer without anyhow just because okay it is Europe and there are lights everywhere it is very safe it it isn't safe as long as you're a foreigner it isn't safe at all even back home in our own countries these things happen you know so it isn't safe thank you very much for watching my video make sure you subscribe share this video it's going to help out other people you know right now i'm saying it as if it's you know it's like it's not painful but it is painful what can i do it already happened okay bye from miss bala see you next time